Do you know what foods are safe for your cat to eat? Welcome to the world of feline nutrition, a fascinating journey where we'll delve into the essential knowledge every cat owner should have. It's all about striking a balance, knowing what's beneficial and what's harmful for your feline friend. Cats like us need a varied diet to stay healthy. But unlike us, they can't just eat anything that's on the dinner table. Some foods can be excellent sources of vital nutrients, helping to boost their health, while others can be harmful, even toxic. From meat to fish, eggs to vegetables, and even some grains and dairy products, there's a whole array of human foods that can safely make their way into your cat's diet. But remember, moderation is key, so buckle up and join us on this exciting culinary adventure. Stay tuned as we explore seven common foods that are safe for your cat. Starting with proteins, meats like chicken, beef, and turkey are safe for cats. Taking a closer look at meats, they are a rich source of protein, an essential nutrient that plays a crucial role in a cat's health. Proteins are the building blocks of body tissues, contributing to the overall growth and development of our feline friends. They aid in repairing body tissues, producing antibodies that fight diseases, and are a source of energy. Chicken, beef, and turkey are all excellent choices for cats due to their high protein content. However, it's important to note that while these meats are safe for cats, they should be prepared correctly to ensure our pets get the most out of them. When preparing these meats for your cat, it's best to keep the seasonings to a minimum. Cats have a different palate than humans, and certain seasonings and spices that we find delicious might not agree with their digestive system. Salt, for example, should be used sparingly, as excessive salt intake can lead to health problems in cats, such as sodium ion poisoning. Moreover, it's crucial to remove any bones from the meat before serving it to your cat. Bones can pose a choking hazard and can cause serious damage to a cat's digestive tract, so always ensure the meat is bone-free. Another point to bear in mind is that while these meats are beneficial, they should not constitute the entirety of a cat's diet. Although cats are carnivores, they require a balanced diet for optimal health. These meats should be considered as a supplement to your cat's regular diet, rather than a replacement for their cat food. Incorporating these meats into your cat's diet can provide them with essential nutrients that contribute to their overall health and well-being. However, as with any dietary change, it's always recommended to consult with a veterinarian to ensure you're making the best choices for your pet's individual needs. Remember, moderation is key when feeding your cat these meats. Next, let's dive into the world of fish. When we think of cats, the image of a furry friend happily devouring a fish might come to mind. And there's a good reason for that. Fish, such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel, are not just tasty treats for your feline friends, they're also packed with beneficial nutrients. First off, these types of fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which play a crucial role in maintaining healthy skin and coats for your cats. Omega-3 can help reduce inflammation, promote healthier skin, and may even enhance your cat's immune response. And let's not forget about that shiny, lustrous coat that every cat owner loves to see. Yes, omega-3 can help with that too. Moreover, fish is a great source of high-quality protein, which is essential for your cat's overall health. It supports muscle growth and recovery, aids in the repair of body tissues, and can even boost your cat's metabolism. That's quite a lot of benefits packed in one food source, right? Now, you might be thinking, great, I'll just give my cat some raw fish. Hold on a second though, raw fish can carry parasites that are harmful to cats. So, it's really important to make sure that any fish you feed your cat is thoroughly cooked to kill off these parasites. Also, Remember to remove any tiny bones that might be a choking hazard. And while fish has many benefits, it shouldn't replace a complete and balanced commercial cat food diet. Think of it more as a supplement to your cat's regular meals, rather than a staple. After all, variety is the spice of life, and a range of different food sources will help ensure your cat gets a balanced diet. So the next time you're cooking up some salmon for dinner, why not set a little aside for your feline friend? Just remember to cook it thoroughly and debone it, and you'll have a happy, healthy cat purring at your feet. Fish can be a great addition to your cat's diet if prepared properly. Did you know eggs are safe for your cat to eat? That's right, those little oval wonders are packed with protein and amino acids, which are essential for your feline friend's muscle development and maintenance. Let's break it down. Protein is the building block of muscles, and eggs are a great source of high-quality protein. This means that they contain all the essential amino acids that your cat needs to stay healthy. 
Amino acids are crucial for many bodily functions, including building and repairing muscles, producing hormones, and supporting a healthy immune system. But remember, how you prepare the eggs matters. Raw eggs could pose a risk of salmonella, so it's best to cook them before serving. Hard-boiled or scrambled eggs are a good choice, just make sure to hold the salt and spices. So next time you're whipping up breakfast, consider making a little extra for your feline companion. Eggs can be a nutritious treat for your cat when cooked properly. Moving on to veggies, did you know pumpkin is safe for your cat? Yes, that's right, our feline friends can benefit from this nutritious squash. Pumpkin is rich in dietary fiber which can aid in your cat's digestion. If your cat is having trouble with constipation or diarrhea, a little pumpkin might just do the trick. Pumpkin is also a great source of vitamins. It's packed with vitamin A which supports vision, and vitamin C which can boost the immune system. These nutrients can help keep your cat healthy and thriving. But remember, moderation is key. While pumpkin has many benefits, it should not replace a balanced cat diet. Think of it more like a supplement to their regular meals. And as always, if you're unsure about introducing new food into your cat's diet, it's best to consult with a vet. Pumpkin can be a healthy addition to your cat's diet. So next time you're carving up a jack-o'-lantern, consider setting some aside for your furry friend. Continuing with veggies, broccoli is another safe option for cats. This green delight is packed with vitamin C and dietary fiber, both of which are beneficial for your feline friend. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient that plays a vital role in tissue repair and the overall health of your cat. On the other hand, dietary fiber can help support the digestive health of your cat, ensuring a smooth and efficient digestion process. However, while broccoli is beneficial, it's important to remember that too much of a good thing can be problematic. If given in excess, broccoli can cause gas in cats, which can lead to discomfort and bloating. So, as with everything else, moderation is key. If you're introducing broccoli to your cat's diet, start with small amounts and gradually increase the portion as your cat gets used to it. Broccoli can be a great source of vitamins for your cat if given in moderation. Did you know that brown rice can be a safe food for your cat? Yes, indeed, brown rice is packed with fiber, B vitamins, and minerals that can provide a good source of energy for your feline friend. Fiber is especially beneficial as it aids in digestion, helping to keep your cat's digestive system running smoothly. B vitamins are essential for your cat's overall health, contributing to a healthy skin and coat, robust immune system, and proper brain function. Minerals like magnesium and manganese found in brown rice are also crucial for maintaining a healthy metabolism in cats. However, it's important to bear in mind that moderation is key. Feeding your cat too much brown rice might lead to digestive issues. That's because cats are primarily carnivores, and their digestive systems aren't designed to break down large amounts of grains. So, brown rice can be a good source of energy for your cat in small amounts. Lastly, let's talk about plain yogurt. Now you might be scratching your head, wondering if it's really okay to give your cat yogurt. Well, the answer is yes, but with a few considerations. Plain yogurt in particular can be quite beneficial for our feline friends due to the presence of probiotics. Probiotics, if you're not familiar with the term, are beneficial bacteria that can aid in digestion and help maintain a healthy gut environment. These bacteria can help balance the cat's intestinal flora, leading to improved digestive health. Now, this doesn't mean you should start spoon-feeding your cat yogurt right away, it's important to remember that not all cats can tolerate dairy products. Some cats can be lactose intolerant, which means their bodies can't digest lactose, a sugar found in milk and dairy products. In these cases, consuming dairy can lead to upset stomachs, diarrhea, or other digestive issues. So how do you introduce plain yogurt to your cat's diet? Start with small amounts. See if your cat enjoys it and observe for any signs of digestive discomfort. If your cat seems to tolerate it well, you can gradually increase the amount. But remember, moderation is key. And here's another tip. Always opt for plain, unsweetened yogurt. Flavored or sweetened yogurts may contain additives or sugars that are not good for your cat's health. In conclusion, plain yogurt can be a wonderful addition to your cat's diet. It offers beneficial probiotics that can help maintain a healthy gut. But as with all things, it's important to introduce it slowly and monitor your cat's reaction. Yogurt can be a good source of probiotics for your cat if tolerated. And as always, when in doubt, it's best to consult with a vet before introducing any new foods into your cat's diet. Let's recap the foods we've discussed today. 
we've journeyed through a variety of human foods that can be beneficial for our feline companions if given in moderation and prepared properly. We started off with meat, like chicken, beef, and turkey. These are excellent sources of protein and vital nutrients that cats need to stay healthy. Remember, when cooking these for your cat, keep the seasoning minimal and always remove the bones. Then, we dived into the world of fish, including salmon, tuna, and mackerel. These are packed with omega-3 fatty acids that are great for a cat's skin and coat health. However, always ensure the fish is thoroughly cooked to avoid the risk of parasites. We also looked at eggs, a rich source of protein and amino acids that help in muscle development and maintenance. Be it boiled or scrambled, eggs can be a nutritious addition to your cat's diet. Next, we touched upon pumpkin, a vegetable rich in dietary fiber that can aid in digestion. It also contains vitamins A and C, which are beneficial for the immune system. Then came broccoli, another fiber-rich vegetable that can support a cat's digestive health. However, too much broccoli can lead to gas, so moderation is key. We also discussed brown rice, a good source of dietary fiber, B vitamins, and minerals, which serve as an energy source for cats. But remember, start with small amounts to avoid digestive distress. Lastly, we talked about plain yogurt. It contains probiotics that can help maintain a healthy gut environment. But be cautious, as some cats may be lactose intolerant, so always start with small amounts and observe how your cat reacts. While all these foods can be beneficial for cats, it's crucial to remember they should only supplement a cat's main diet, not replace it. Every cat is unique, and their dietary needs can vary based on their age, health status, and lifestyle. So, if you're unsure about how much or how often you should be including these foods in your cat's diet, it's always a good idea to consult with a vet. They can provide personalized advice based on your cat's specific needs and health conditions. In conclusion, your cat's diet plays a critical role in their overall health and well-being. And while it's tempting to share our human foods with them, it's important to ensure what we're offering is safe and beneficial for them. Remember, knowing what foods are safe for your cat can make a significant difference in their health and happiness. So let's make every meal count for our furry friends.